What's up YouTube? It's your boy the lovable asshole here coming to you with another video. Guys, and this is on G Status ATL Hustle Season 2, Episode 2. Now, guys, I'm gonna be real, this episode was Oh gosh. Um started off um with um I think it's it's it it Picked up from where it left off with Akeem cursing out Zion. Zion really painting the dust. Um, Hakeem, in this episode, you really needed your ass whoop. I wanted somebody to it literally slap the fucking casket sharp makeup off your face and really beat you down to the ground like the old fucker you are. And it was just distaste, like you were very distasteful in this episode. You was really annoying. You was really doing some bitch shit. You were, um, I just needed somebody to tag you. That's about it. Sorry. Don't care. I said what I said. Sorry, not sorry. So, oh yeah. Um, okay, we get into Roman and Sherrod and basically they linking up they n somehow know of each other they're both actors actors okay great um Sherrod um Sherrod is talking about Tremel um due to Roman accent about it we all going to find out what that is all about Mr. Roman and Mr. Tremel um it was a lot of um, double teaming on uh, Mr. Tremel in that scene about, you know, how, you know, Tremel said something that uh, Sherrod told him and he repeated it in which to dismay of Sherrod, he didn't like it and willing to confront Mr. Tremel. And that's ba basically all that is. We, mi we meet Mr. Roman, which is a... Uh, um, a ballroom girl. Um, he he can give trade by day, and give butch queen by night. Yes, ma'am. I live for that. Roman, you're a cutie. I gotta give you that. Your body is sickening, and um, can't wait to see more of you. I see that you're a turn up. I'm um, good way in bad. I love that. Um, okay. Now uh, we um, we all get introduced to this new character, Mr. Thor. Um, Mr. Thor, um, come here, baby. I just, you know, pull up a chair. Just pull up a chair, baby. Um, let me just get into your gig real quick, okay? Let me push this to a side and let me look at you face to face, baby. Um, I will say, Mr. Thor, let's start with the good, okay? Because we, we, I want to start off positive with you, okay? You started off amazing. You were reading to the girls. You were telling girls, like, girl, you're not cute. You're ugly. Sit down. Um, and all this other porn stuff about Sherrod. Um, you was getting into a Mr. Lando, Mr. Lando King, Mr. Dark Chocolate Thunder. Yes, ma'am, you were sexy, Lando. I love him, chocolate. Um, um, don't do that. Um, yeah, um, yeah, um, you got into it with Mr. Sherrod. You got into it with Delicious. You got into it with, um, Lando. Um, I think you even got into it with, uh, Brandon. I, did you get into it with Brandon? I may, may, may or may not. I don't know. But, um, Thor, you really got into it with everybody. I don't know. You just had this look on your face of this. You didn't want to be here because you, per, you knew some of them, but they knew some of them had a problem with you. Like, you and Mr. Um, Lando, y'all have old dealings where he wanted to have pictures of your um, little piglets and um yeah that didn't go so well he still has pictures of your feet and that's where it's on that um Mr. Uh, Thor okay um yeah uh I um leave my Roderick alone she's not giving that um Roderick I love you I just want to still look at you I know it's creepy, but you're so pretty. And I just found out that you're more pretty as a woman than as a male. That's not a read, girl. That's truth. Okay, um, yes. Um, you know, yada, yada, yada. Devon, um, you know, he, they all saying these nonsense about who they are and what their brand is and what they hold to because it's a networking event. Um... Yeah, 
But all the while, Thor is literally in his confession and throwing shade left and right, left and right. It, and no lie, um, Thor, it was definitely giving coke binge. It was definitely giving, um, you know, just came out the bathroom, did two bumps, and, you know, just, you know, just wiped it off and, you know, fixed yourself a little bit and went on about his day. You probably did two, probably did three, probably did like ten. Who knows? I'm not questioning you. That's all alleged, but I feel like you did. But don't sue me because I don't have no money, okay? Great. Okay, um, hmm. But yeah, um, then this comes a situation. I just have to just, exp um, just get this out. Brandon, Brandon and Roman. There was a situation between them. Who the fuck knows? I didn't get anything. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, Hakeem kept butting in for whatever reason, putting his little comments in. I don't know why. Um, yeah. It was really becoming annoying at that point, Hakeem. Like, won't you just sit there, eat your food, and read that damn magazine, girl? I, that's all I want you to do. You were big, like really being annoying, Hakeem. I don't know why you were there. You were just being fucking annoying. <sighs> you had too many drinks already. I bet you had like a five, six, 15, 20 drinks before you even got in there. So you probably was drunk before you got in there. And you just started your shit. I understand that you trying to get shit going, but I felt like the shit would have got there um, with, with or without you, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that was just annoying and, you know, glad that Roman really checked your ass and really put you on game, like, don't fuck with me, I'm not the bitch to fuck with, none of these bitches scare me, and I love that, Roman, snaps to you. Um, yeah, uh, but what I didn't like, if you're gonna get up, I need you to swing on Akeem, or I just want you, I just wanted you to swing. That's just my opinion, um, I'm not a fighting person. But if I was to get up and really swing on a person, I'm definitely going to swing. And that's just it, that on that. Okay. Uh, where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? Um, where are we going to go? Where are we gonna go? Uh, they just kept arguing with each other. Blah, 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 blah. A couple of animals at the zoo just stampeding on each other. It was very, very embarrassing. It wasn't... Um, it wasn't... Uh, Y'all didn't have no manners. Y'all didn't have no respect for the establishment. Y'all was basically untrained monkeys and gorillas and all that type of stuff. Yes, yes, I said it and I'm not taking it back. I just want you to know that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, all of a sudden that a king wants to stand up and tell everybody that a special, he has a special guest coming. Which is Dre Simber. Yay, Dre Simber. Yeah, in my opinion, um, I just want to say this. I I am really, I like Dre Simber. Uh, I like what he had to give that season when he was on. Even though he was very, very late in the game, he still spiced it the fuck up when the show was really going down. So I feel like they brought Jay Simber in just to give it a little touch of spice. And he actually did spice it up. Um, check the comments. Don't check me. Um, and basically, Jay Simber just sat down really cute, really eloquent, and just said hello to everybody. And proceeded to talk um, to Sherrod about how there were ones good and now they're not, blah, blah, blah. Um, and... Him, Sherrod, going on lives and going on interviews for bloggers that don't really care too much for him. Um, yeah, he was in his feelings about that. Um, yeah, which preceded, um, you know, Thor to really um, get in between, you know, have Dre Simmers back because they're friends and to double team the fuck out of Sherrod. Now... Devon, who already don't really care for Jay Simber, don't like him, and even said in his confessionals, no, and make sure you know that I don't fuck with you, and I'm going to make you know it. S something's along that Florida nature of Devon. Um, uh, it is what it is. I, I, I didn't like the fact that Devon did that, 
But um, jo Devon's going to do what he want to do at this point. Um, you know, words is exchanged. All I saw next was Devon throwing a, a, a glass of water over to uh, Dre Simber. And then Thor in Dre Simber is throwing plates and throwing other shit. And that's all I know. And it was just a rampage from there. They all trying to get those girls out of the um, restaurant. So they won't get sued for damages. I bet they did. Um, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. Um, hmm. What else? All I know that Charlie and Arga, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little bitches. Little, little. Uh... <laughs> Those beautiful little bitches um, definitely, you know, went to, I think Megan was there. Uh, I love that Megan was there. Um, they went to a concert or something. Um, yeah, that's, they had fun. I'm glad they didn't go to that fuckery of a dinner. I'm so glad that they went out to hang with Megan and turn up and just have a blast. And, um... That's all for this, you know, fuckery of an episode of, you know, wild, untamed humans throw plates and um, drinks at each other for entertainment. Wow. Yeah. That's very, very, very sad. Well, yeah. So, guys, um, that's the end of the review for the G-Status Hustle Season 2, Episode 2, the, the zoos, the untrained humans of um, the episode. Yeah, so, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please like this video. Please share this video. And please comment down on this video. I want to know your feedback and... Am I doing a good job? Am I um doing the topics right? What are you like? I listen. I love constructive criticism, guys. Whatever you have to say to me, I can take. I'm a big boy. You see, I'm a big boy. Okay, I'm a big boy. I can take it. So, guys, tune in for the next video. More content. Oh, and just want to put a little, little little promo for myself. And this is my channel. I'm free to do so. Please. Check out all of my um, interviews with the um, Miami cast of The Come Up. Yes, guys, I'm so, so happy that um, y'all all love those uh, the interviews that I did with the Miami cast with Bam Bam, with the sweet, um, lovable Bam Bam, with the gorgeous golden boy, with the smart and wealthy Lamage, and the, the burst of energy, uh, Miles, and the turn up himself, Mr. Sean Dion. Guys, please watch all those interviews and um, just get to know their personality because, baby, once July 22nd comes, y'all going to be in for a treat. And me as well because I'm going to be watching and reading all those bitches. Nobody's off limits. They know. Come on. So, guys, again, like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell to be notified when you when um another video is coming at you, okay? Bye now.